go. N match number four, turning to the blue side. We have the great hope of France. Hold on to your baguettes. It's the escape king himself, Soares! Y en el otro lado, el único jugador de la GPL que ha jugado dos All-Stars, Q T P. Got both of them up again that time, so yeah. their powers combined, they're even louder. I'm still thinking yesterday was a little bit better with the ratatata. You see, that's the thing, though, is now that's in their heads, and you can't let you that perform. get to you, right? You think of Dave Chappelle when he was like going crazy, and it's like I have to outdo myself every single time. It gets so hard. Reinvent yourself. Exactly. It's so hard to do though because people fell in love with what you had done. It's like a uh, Key and Peel as well. It's like we got to keep making funny stuff. People he have came back though, Dave Chappelle. Didn't you do like a, a little skit right now, a little lately? Yep. 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 Changes direction just a tiny bit, but still, it's one of those things, man. All right, change direction into game. Fiddles. <laughs> I mean, these guys can watch the match histories. There's a good chance some of these players have been like spamming certain champions because unlike scrims, you can't pause and leave a 1v1 because most of them go down to the wire on like a one single auto attack trade. Yeah. And then the game ends and there's always logs. <laughs> Alt F4 right before the last hit comes through. That's an auto lock too. Oh, they're playing a mirror match. Oh. The, second, the second you see weird bands, they're playing a mirror match. Ah. Because look at it. So as spelled fanatic. Yeah, FNC versus QTV. <laughs> The second you see the Vi-Ban, you gotta start looking at like the first letters and see what they're banning. This happened last year as well, where Bjergsen and Doublelift were banning out TSM every time and then playing Velkos and Zed Mirror. Uh, Froggen played Anivia and Mirror, and they spelled it out. The Zillion was spelled out last year yep. as well in his game versus Aphromo. This is great. <laughs> oh, dude, I love watching these things one v once. The sad part is they actually tend to end at level three. Yeah. Oh, usually it's a, the level three. It's whoever got better ease off on the minion wave and the other person to try and push it a little bit faster. And whoever lands the Q, because people, they'll both stand in the minion wave. Yeah. And if one lands a Q and the other doesn't, it's like, ah, oh, this game is almost over. Yeah, it's, it's really important because these guys are going to kind of mimic each other in terms of play. When it was played by Diamond Prox, was it like 2013 All-Stars? He played, he definitely played a, a Lee Sin Mirror. But the problem was it was in the in the original Summer's Rift in the mid lane. So there was no fancy brush control or relics. And I think that will actually spice this matchup up a lot more. Before, like, do you run to the relic versus Lee Sin Q? Like, you gotta believe in your ability to juke then. Is it worth it? Maybe not. That's true. That's actually... See, these things are just so hard. You have to think of all of them beforehand. Because if you get on the Rift, everything has to go out the window and you have to kind of rely on your practice. If you haven't practiced enough, then it could be an issue. But I do think that QTV, oh, and Soaz, both very practiced. We were talking about how in Vietnam they take their 1v1s very seriously, especially in the GPL. Yeah, definitely see if there's any contrast here. Soaz is running AD, attack speed, armor, and just some health. So a pretty standard. Page honestly with Thunderlords. Just gonna look up what his opponent is running. We'll be seeing quite a few Qs right now. There's magic resistant QTV. Uh, yeah, because E does magic damage. But like four flat MR. It could be the difference. <laughs> I've seen it before. Yeah. I've actually seen it before. All right, they're both running a, a, a little bit of attack speed, definitely. It depends on what their style is, because some people actually max E first, because mm -hmm. it'll shove the wave, and it will also deal damage to the opponent. So if you have magic resistance and they don't, it is the difference. Yeah, definitely. You've seen W maxes as well for kind of a sustained tanky synth. Yeah, it's the difference there. Soas started Q, QTV started E. Soas connects, so that's good. In a minion wave, that's rough, though. QTV should always answer with immediate auto attack right there. Yeah. It's really important that you do not cancel any single auto attack animations. So it's going to put you behind in trades. I was looking at uh, fun facts for QTV. He's actually 28 years old, and he turns 29 in March. So. Ooh. So was Bully the guy playing a Lee Sin mechanic heavy <laughs> matchup, and this guy is 28. That's just mean, Paul. Good size up. This is the toxic, you know? And QDB levels up, gets the Q and the exhaust. Good counter exhaust from Soas right before the proc. Soas has his Q up first. Ooh, that's big. 28, baby. <laughs> Still got it. I mean, is maybe he's juking it because Soas. Oh, he's got Q back up. He got him. Oh, he got him. He got him. Soas, it's over. Oh, oh, oh. QTV. It takes down the 1v1 king from earlier. Look at him. He's happy. Oh. Hey man, 28 years old, don't give up on your dreams like Krepo. Everybody else out there, you are old <laughs> enough to go pro. I need a new excuse. <laughs> what would I do now? Maybe I was bad all the time.
Maybe it wasn't aged. It's okay. I